There he, is, of course, the upsetting uh, side of the uh, of the game, which is, of course, if you're an Italian fan. Uh, and joining us mm. now on the sky wall uh, is Flavio. Uh, sorry, uh, Valerio, I believe. Valerio, how are you, mate? Hi, Dan. Not too bad. Not you? too bad, considering. I mean, <laughs> when, when you get beaten in a final uh, that that comprehensively, but by a side that are just that right. good and dictated the play, there's not a lot you can say, is there? Well, to be honest with you, Spain did deserve to win, but um, to my opinion, Prandelli, the, the Italian coach, did not prepare the team properly, let's say, because on the first match he played with five midfielder and only three defender. Uh, today, he, he basically, he, he put like four defender, four defenders. And uh, the match was definitely over when Thiago Motta, on the 60 minutes, got injured. Uh, and Italy, like in the second half, is, Italy start better, better than the first half, and he was like playing better. But when Thiago Motta got injured, uh, the match to me was like over. And obviously, I'm I'm very sad about that. But Spain played very well. This this team is amazing, you know. Um, we we couldn't do much about that. No, so do you think the game was lost before a, a ball was kicked then, uh, purely because of the way Prandelli set up the, the, the side? Well, yeah, that's true, but Prandelli, he should have like prepared the team in another way, you know, for example, he should have like uh, put like Borini in or some other like uh, player inside in just to play the match, but he didn't, you know, he, he didn't like uh, yes, prepare the team. We didn't prepare the team. The match was uh, well, since the beginning. The match wasn't. I have, to, I have to say though, you've got to be very proud of your side. I mean, nobody fancied them to get this far in the competition. I think you've got to the final. You have to hold your hands up sometimes and say we we were beaten by the better team, the world champions, the European Championship. I just think tonight it doesn't matter how Italy set themselves up tonight. I still think you would have got beat. And I was, I was just pleased that Prandelli really went quite offensive with two up front tried to take the game to Spain, it didn't work out. So I just think overall you'd have still lost whatever system you played tonight. Yeah, Pranelli, yeah, he, he should have like uh, played the match. Let's say that uh, uh, waiting for them, but not too much. Like with five midfielder, the match would have been like completely different. And when uh, uh, in the second half uh, he, he put like Di Natale in, and to my opinion he should have played before. Balotelli, yeah, he's a great player, but uh, I don't know, didn't look up. He, he wasn't suitable for this match, you know, he wasn't great. But anyway, uh, that's what he did. Uh, the Spain team is amazing, guys. As you can see, they won three important competitions, two Euro Cup and a World Cup. Yeah. And, I don't know. We're looking forward for the next World Cup, guys. You know. Yeah. Well, listen, Valeria. Commiserations to you. It's uh, no worse feeling than obviously being a fan, a, a losing fan in a final. So I hope, uh, I hope you recover quickly, uh, and we'll speak to you very soon on the show. Thanks for getting in touch. Thank you very much. Cheers, Valeria. Ciao. All the best, Ciao. mate. Um, I have to sort of disagree with you in a way because I just think everyone knows the way Spain plays. Everyone mm -hmm. knows that if you try and play play a, a, an attacking game against Spain mm -hmm. and try and beat them at their own game, you won't succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, the teams that have done well against Spain, even if you look at England, the friendly before, have played that stifling football. Italy yeah. did it uh, in the first match, obviously. Yeah. Uh, played a very different way, but a very, you know, it wasn't the prettiest football, but it worked. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, don't, I don't really support your view of, oh, oh let's give uh, Prandelli some credit for going for it because no, that, no, that no, was no, never going to work, was I, it? No, I think he's done well to get them to because they weren't fancied in this competition mm. I think he's gone into it I think that uh, Cassano and uh, Balotelli have played extremely well to get them to the final I think it's very hard sometimes to leave them out but uh, you know Perlo couldn't get it in today because the Spanish are so good they, mm. you know and the thing the thing is uh, whatever system you play against the Spanish if they really fancy it and step up to the plate as they did tonight because they are world champions the European champions they want to hold on to their trophy they want to hold on to the World Cup in Brazil in two years time and they just stepped it up tonight and it didn't matter how for me the mm. Italians whatever way you play if you played negative you could have ended up losing it one nil you know two one or whatever I, well, I didn't even fancy the Italians to score tonight but at least they went out and said well, okay wherever go well you mentioned the Italian scoring Balotelli again I mean we, we said obviously before this game he's had a great game sure again mm. uh, in, in the semi-final 
Uh, but, but he's the sort of player who we haven't seen anything of him at the whole tournament leading up to that semi, really. Then he, he produced a masterclass display. Everyone's saying, oh, what an incredible player. Man City are so lucky to have him. Italy could really, yeah. you know, uh, everything could go right for him. And then again, we see him, uh, to, to be, I mean, after the 60th minute, obviously, when Motta went off, he was, uh, he was a lone, lonely figure and was never going to get the ball. But yeah. even before that, didn't really impress. But, but he didn't get any of the ball. So how can he impress if he doesn't get any of the ball? Well, I because mean, Italy didn't have the ball. If you look at the possession, you say Perlo, Perlo had this quietest game of the competition yeah. because they couldn't get hold of the ball. So then the only time early on in the first half, uh, Balotelli made a couple of good runs, was put through because he got between the centre-halves. But after that, Spain squeezed the game. He didn't get any luck. He had a couple of shots from range. Mm. Um, but, you know, got a couple of free kicks in and around the box. But you have to say, overall, he didn't get enough of the ball. Once they went down, as you said, after the hour mark to 10 men, then really it was just drop back, yeah. damage limitation because he just couldn't get the ball off Spain. Oh, he is a happy man. Uh, joining us now on the Skype ball is Ander, who, uh, if you can't tell from his shirt, is a, a Spanish fan. Ander, how are you? Good night. Thank how you. are you? Uh, you well? Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm sure you are. Now, listen, uh, it doesn't matter who you support. I mean, watching that final was, uh, it was a masterclass and it was, uh, it certainly silenced some of the people that maybe said, the Spanish way has become boring. Uh, it was just uh, a brilliant from start to finish. You must be delighted. Yeah, I think uh, it, it was a good answer to uh, reply all that critics about the, our our style of playing. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone was keeping saying like, "Oh, a Spanish game is is boring," but here you have our our game. <laughs> And how pleased were you for, for Fernando Torres as well? Because it, obviously a lot, a lot of people have said not playing with a striker and, and, and Fernando's obviously been frustrated uh, with the tournament. But he came on, two assists uh, uh, for Fernando, was it not? Uh, was it two assists or just the one assist, wasn't with it? Matt one assist and, the, goal. and yeah. the goal. It's a, it's a great uh, reply from him for, from what's been a, a frustrating tournament. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, for me... Uh, uh, putting uh, bring uh, Tesk into the piece, it was the the correct choice because um, with uh, Busquets, Xavi, Iniesta around him, they are making uh, the same game as they do in, in Barcelona. But yeah, uh, actually it was a good replay or uh, a good um, reply uh, uh, from Torres. But it's not fair because I mean they were playing with uh, ten men yeah. in that time and then uh, last minute, so. I think I think the good thing, Anders, is that uh, Del Bosque, who was taking a little bit of criticism, just stuck by his guns and said, "This is the way we want to play. This is the best way to play. This is the best formation. We'll we, we're good playing this way. Don't criticise us." And I think tonight he proved all the doubters wrong tonight, and that's why he's such a top manager with a top team. He believes in these players and the way they play. Yeah, that was what he said from from the beginning. Uh, we are going to we are going to try to keep our our, our uh, st style every game and try not to change. I mean, he believed in that style and that was what he did in every single match. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at Spain now and, and thinking, listen, they've got three consecutive trophies here, two Euros and a World Cup. The next World Cup, of course, uh, in Brazil, and we've had six World Cups now in South America, all with six South American yeah. uh, winners. So, do you think? That the next tournament they, they can they can carry on this this incredible form uh, and and uh, well keep hold of the World Cup as, as well because that would be an astonishing feat. Well, it's going to be a, um, a huge challenge for us, but I think we have a very young squad, so why not? Yeah, they're Absolutely. only going to get better, aren't they? No. Absolutely. I have to. Look, I looked at the squad ages today, and I looked at it and I said, yeah, Xavi is the oldest at 32. So in two years' time for a World Cup, he could still be playing in this squad, the way that Spain play. Casillas is 31. You've got uh, Torres, who's 28. Iniesta is 28. Silva is 26. Fabregas, 25. Alonso, 30. It's still a squad. The majority of these could still go on to play in the World Cup mm. in Brazil. And the way that Spain play is very South American. Yeah. So with the conditions out there, it will suit Spain as well if they continue to play this it's way, which well. they will. So they've got a great chance to go on and try and change all yeah, that yeah. history. Well, listen, Andrew, listen, I'm, I'm afraid we have to move on, but I'm going to let you crack on. And I'm sure you've got a lot of celebrating to do, mate. So we'll, we'll let you carry on with that. But thanks so much for, uh, for getting in touch with us and go and enjoy your San Miguel's, mate. Oh, OK, thank you very much. Speak to you later.